Good morning and welcome back to our Saturday Sofa Share. Today we wanted to talk about, I suppose, really different types of surveys yes. and something that flagged up and we've been talking about all week are what we call desktop surveys. Mm -hmm. Andrew, desktop survey. Yep. For the viewers and the listeners, what is a desktop survey? A desktop survey will be where the surveyor appointed by the bank or your lender uh, just merely does their own research as a desktop study basically and they won't physically view the property that you're intending to buy. Um, this is often driven by the loan to value so if you've got a very large deposit um, in, in comparison to your mortgage then they may not deem it necessary to do a physical survey yeah. on the property. I mean we were saying that a lot of that's come through from Covid because mm -hmm. yep. um, obviously in sort of during the last two years uh, people have been trying to minimise the risk of uh, being in touch and being out and about, mm -hmm. which I get, I totally understand. Um, and I think as Andrew said there, the risk to the lender, and remember that, it's the risk to the lender mm -hmm. that they're protecting, not you. Um, if it is, I mean, we had one recently, didn't we? And they had a home buyer survey, mm -hmm. yep. um, which picked up potential movement. And it was a modern property, um, which you wouldn't normally expect anything. Mm -hmm. Um, but it obviously got wiped off and that's now going through an insurance claim. Um, and that's why you have insurance as well, but that's another story for another day. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. we were just saying there that if somebody had, I don't know, 50,000 pound mortgage, and I think the rest was about 200,000 um, pound so, uh, as their own capital, and if the, if the surveyor had just gone, oh, I'll do a desktop survey because it's a low, a low risk to the lender, mm -hmm. not to you as the buyer, remember that. Um, you're completing on it and suddenly found out that you've got a house that's moved. Yes. Yeah. So I think you've got to be very, very careful. So don't just accept that that's happened. We're not trying to complicate things for sellers, um, but we're just trying to protect buyers as well. Um, different types of survey, Andrew. So the real basic one, yeah, apart from desktop, obviously. Yeah, but so desktop, well, the basic one would be the mortgage valuation, which, as Roy said, is the uh, um, making sure that the amount you're wanting to borrow on the property, that's your mortgage element, uh, is worthy of being lent on for the property you want to buy. Um, so that would be a basic mortgage valuation. Surveyors normally in and out in 15, 20 minutes. They will take some photographs, they will measure the property, uh, look for obvious signs of doubt and obvious defects, but that's pretty much about that, it. That's about it. And again, it's protecting the lender, yes. not you, remember that. Yeah. So the next one, which, uh, and I think actually, just to pause you there, sorry, Andrew, I think we all get excited about buying a property and we're all kind of thinking, yeah, great, we've got the mortgage, that's it. We're not, we're not actually thinking, hmm, the actual detail behind that survey and why have you suddenly got a mortgage on it. So yeah, sorry, next one. Yeah, the Grange survey, which is often known as a home buyer survey, uh, will cost you um, money to get the surveyor out to look at it. I'm guessing probably something in the region of 750 to 1,000 pounds, something like that. Yeah. Um, is it money well spent? Well, yes, potentially it is, because particularly if you're buying an older property, uh, it could flag up some defects that weren't obvious um, that would need further investigation. It's often a uh, electrical survey, perhaps testing the, the boiler or the appliances, uh, sorry, not the appliances, the gas boiler, um, and the heating systems, uh, signs of damp and timber treatment. Just saying the loft spaces, yeah, that's yeah, a bit more detail. Yeah, Woodworm, yeah. anything like that. Yeah, so it will flag up uh, issues that may not be obvious when you view the property in the excitement. Um, so it might be worth considering getting one of those done aside or in, as well as your mortgage valuation. Uh, and then the last one, uh, well, the most, most common one, would be a full structural survey. Um, this is perhaps uh, where you, as the buyer, have uh, seen that the property does need some modernisation or there's some obvious signs of uh, repair or defects. Um, probably worth considering that. Again, uh, will be a lot more money. Uh, I would think it's an easy, probably £1,500, perhaps even more than that. Uh, but it is very detailed, literally from basement to roof and everything in between. Yeah, I mean, I suppose when you liken it to buying a car, you go and buy, most people go and buy a car if they're spending some good money um, from a dealership, and a lot of the time that's because they know their technicians who are skilled people have gone over that car with a fine tooth comb, and thus you're getting a good, solid, reliable vehicle. Yeah. Now you could be spending anywhere between five and 50,000 pounds. Um, on a five grain car, yeah, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's gonna last you, mm -hmm. but if you're buying a house at half a million pounds, why do you scrimp on the survey? Now, we're not saying on every property, upgrade it and have a full building survey, but I think definitely be conscious that you do want to be looking, I would say, at least the mid-range of the home buyers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in most cases, order for. Yeah. Okay, so if you have any questions on that, as usual, uh, just drop us a line or give us a call on 01233 501 601. 
Andrew, property of the week. Yes, exciting. Corker over, one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Over at Bridgefield, we have a uh, really fantastic three bedroom, semi detached uh, home. It, it does have three bedrooms, the ensuite, the family bathroom, large living room, kitchen, diner. Particularly good sized garden on this one. I, I can't remember seeing a property over at Bridgefield with a garden quite a bit. Unusually large yeah, plot, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, garage at the foot of the garden as well, and which I think has been part converted into an office, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's on the market at offers in the region of 350. Uh, we're already getting good interest, mm -hmm. but uh, do take a look if you haven't seen it. We'll all post the pictures in the description or the link uh, yeah. below later, I'm sure. So yeah, Corking House, mm -hmm. and again, we are, very simply, we need properties. Um, we're getting so many sales of the new ones coming through, and we're struggling sometimes to think, right, which property of the week? Because as soon as they come on, um, they're pretty much gone, as yes. Andrew said, with, um, with the new one over at Bridgefield. Um, who knows, by Monday it may be gone anyway. But yeah, do give us a call today if you are thinking of moving. Just very quickly as well, our loyalty card. Um, this is doing phenomenally well. The website page is now live. If you do, if this is really a call out to local business owners. Um, this is totally free. This costs you absolutely nothing. There's no tie-in, there's no contract, there's no nothing. All I ask um, is that you do a quick Zoom call with me. We explain um, to the viewers and anybody that has a card, we explain who you are, what you do, um, and more importantly, to grab new business, can you give a bit of a discount? Mm -hmm. We've had such a great response to this, it's mm -hmm. absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. And again, it is totally free of charge. So, if you are a local independent in and around the Ashford area and you want a little bit of extra sort of business coming through your door or picking up the phone and ringing you, um, just drop me a message, let's have a chat, and let's get you more exposure. The one we had this, well, we've had a couple this week, one in particular, um, when we're talking about cars, actually, vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, Just Drive, who's one of our business neighbors here across the way, um, they have agreed that anybody um, with one of our loyalty cards, so customer-wise, um, no admin fees on wow. your next vehicle. That's really good. I think it's really good. It's good, good few hundred pounds savings. So um, do watch um, and keep an eye on what new deals are coming up on the loyalty card scheme. It's all local stuff as well. Um, I've got a chat this morning with a guy who builds garden rooms. Brilliant. Awesome. Yeah. So if you are looking at maybe not moving house, but you kind of, you've been thinking, should I have a home office mm. um, or a room to lock the children away? No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Don't quote me on that one. Um, but yeah, just keeping on that one, I'll be doing that today with Spencer, so really exciting. Yeah, exactly. So the sun is out, will it stay out? I hope so. Hopefully, it looks like the uh, storms have gone and disappeared, thankfully. We're still getting uh, funny weather, I don't think it can quite make its mind up what yeah, to do. Yeah, it's not sure what to do. At the moment, it's a beautiful bright morning, and uh, yeah, great for business. Um, I just want to say uh, also as well, that my heart and our hearts go yeah. out to those people in Ukraine. Um, tragic events over there, and uh, we wish you all the very best, and uh, keep safe and well, uh, peace to all. Yeah, bless her. And uh, yeah, there's no, no other words really to add to that, is it? Very sad. But um, that's it from us for this weekend. Um, we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.